Welcome everyone to O'Donoghue Towers down here in Brighton on the sunny south coast of England. My name is John O'Donoghue and I was delighted when Moss Scanlon of the Irish Cultural Centre asked me to read you some of my poems as I know that down the decades the ICC has hosted some great authors and poets and I'm delighted to be in their company. This first poem is called Light All the Lanes and it was written for a cousin's wedding over in Ireland. Light All the Lanes. Over the drumlins the dawn is breaking, Sinead and Kevin are married today. Light all the lanes the lovers are taking. Light all the ways that end in the making of promises time can't wear away. Over the drumlins the day is breaking. Follow the way where the river's snaking, through the lovely fields of spring seems to say, light all the lanes the lovers are taking. Lighten all hearts that for love are aching. Tell them that love will be coming their way. Over the drumlins morning is breaking. Tell all the villages slowly waking to come to the chapel, do not delay. Light all the lanes the lovers are taking. See the lovers, all others forsaking. Behold them now in their gorgeous array. Over the drumlins the dawn is breaking. Light on the lanes the lovers are taking. This next poem was written on the 30th of August 2013. We'd been called over to Ireland for another wedding and we got the very sad news that Seamus Heaney had died. That evening in the Four Seasons Hotel in Monaghan, on the headed hotel stationery, I wrote this poem. It's called The Gift, in memory of Seamus Heaney. The Gift. That I have come in wedding clothes to Ireland on the day you died. Does that make me a pilgrim here? A figure gaunt, alone, austere? Or should I pass as one of those who raise their glass to toast the bride? Strange calling that has brought us here, not knowing what response to make. Stunned as much by death as love, uncertain what's ahead above. The moon now suddenly a tear, dissolving in the star-filled lake. And so on Wedding's Eve I shape these feelings into forms we share and tie them into bows of rhyme. Tomorrow when we wake and I am aware that open ground might gape, I'll bear my gift with extra care. A change of mood now. This poem's called The Fight, and it recounts an old scrap I had with my spa Baron McKenna back in the days when I was a nipper on the playground. The Fight. When Barry McKenna struck the blow that blackened my eye, dirty and low, my head in a lock, his fist a ham, battering the jelly into jam, Back in the distant days when the schools still taught us to fight by simple rules, the first to bleed or the first to cry, did our ancestors on high let fly, curse and insult one to another, McKenna, O'Donoghue, brother, foe, patron, poet, priest, protector, as great Achilles slew brave Hector, the two small boys, dizzy and daft, as a whole history looked on and laughed. McKenna, our son, where are you now? Come back for the scar you left on my brow. I'm going to finish with another wedding poem. This year, my wife and I will be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. A couple of years ago, I had some health scares, but thankfully I'm still here. This poem refers to that, and it's called Mended. Mended. The cladder that I used to wear lay broken there on the bookshelf. I had other more pressing things than wedding rings to think about, and so unmended there it lay, until today you said to me, Happy birthday, and placed the ring you mended by our bed. I sing of broken bodies, of these scars I bear, old Mars to your Venus, a survivor of ancient wars I fight no more. Sing once again of life, new mended after fate, left it not late, but just in time to catch whatever lilting light burnishes this ring. Now we're right. Thank you.